getting off the phone with the league office. They blew the call, and uh, man, there are a lot of opportunities though. But that call puts it first and ten. We're on an E three plays, and it's a game changing call, and it's where it's at. So it's disappointing. Credit uh, the Rams; they made enough plays though. They won the game. The kicker made some big kicks, but for a call like that not to be made, man. It's just hard to swallow, and then to get a phone call. Um, someone turn that off a little bit. Anyway, so what do you do? You get you get back up and you start um, going to work. This will be a tough one for these players, for the coaches. And again, uh, Rams did a great job. It was a well-fought game, hard hard-fought game, but. Any questions? It was simple. They blew the call. They said it should never have not been a call. They said not only was it interference, it was helmet to helmet. There were two calls. They just they couldn't believe it. So that was no. We spoke initially. Then I called to follow up. And first thing Al said when I got on the phone, we messed it up. And um, but we go into these league meetings and. We sit as an ownership group, and we don't further evaluate the replay system. You know, there's just too much at stake. And it's listen, it's a hard job for those guys because it's happening fast. But I don't know if there was ever a more obvious pass interference call that, you know, here it is, the NFC Championship game. So, tough one to swallow. Yeah, the normal, like, hey, we thought they arrived at the same time, you know, that kind of thing, but.